Welcome to King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing with this week's bowlers. To my left, the returning king and queen of uh, the mixed doubles, Dean Sullivan and Marilyn Bajarski. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. And to my right, the number four seeds with a roll-off score of 11.54, Ben Vestal and Sarah Duffy. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you. What are your thoughts about bowling the champs right out the gate? It's going to be a tough match. Just want to get it out of the way. So. Sarah? Same. <laughs> <laughs> little, little camera shy? Yes. <laughs> All right, I, I, won't, I won't prolong it. Dean, let's, let's hear your catchphrase, Dino. Come on. Just throw the ball and let the pins fall. Anybody who says that owes him a dollar. It's 20 bucks. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, I'm sorry. It's 20. It's inflation. Marilyn? Just going to not let my partner down. All right. Well, people a few words. So I'll see one team in the 11th box. Good luck to both teams. Welcome, everyone, to Season 7, King of the Palace. We're kicking things off with the mixed tag team doubles with the reigning champs, Dean Sullivan and Marilyn Borjanowski. Oh, she's the returning champs. And you just watched Marilyn on Alley 3. Wow. Wreck a rack. Nice good by Sarah. We got Sarah Duffy on Alley 4. That's it. And this is scratch, right? Yes. This is a scratch match. How was your summer? My summer was pretty good. You know, we had the um, uh, off-season King of the Palace. We had some good turnouts. Yep. Uh, sponsored by uh, Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Um, it was uh, quite eventful. You know, quiet but eventful. Round first ball, and he gets one pin, but she has another one. Sarah just missed a head pin. And Marilyn fills with seven. Maybe, yep, seven. This is quicker than a hiccup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you what. Sarah with a nine box. And Marilyn with a ten. So after two, the champs are up ten pins. Yep. 17 to 27. Marilyn comes out of Framingham Mass. Her average is a 103. She's been bowling for 28 years. Her high single is a 166. Her high triple is a 399. Sarah on alley four. She comes from Lynn Mass. Her average is a 106. She's been bowling for 30 years. Her high single is a 153. Her high foul oh, drops a ball. Not a ball by Maryland. Wow. wow. All time is a 641. She came to bowl today. Retaining champs are firing on all cylinders right now. Well, Marilyn was uh, bowling at uh, Ryan's family amusement today, and she was doing very, very well. Awesome. Nice, oh, out. nice shot there. We want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Massa Subaru and Lunenburg Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau and his excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube. Type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, elevator racing, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, 10 pin bowling. Yep. Oh, oh double strike. Um, wow. Wow, that's three strikes in four boxes for Maryland. It's mm. amazing. She's, she's going to be setting up Dean up nice. Oh, she said she didn't want to let her partner down in interviews. I don't think she's going to by any means. We're going to try to get as to as many comments as we can, but as you know, with the mixed doubles or any doubles, it's very fast. It's very quicker than a hiccup. Yep. It really is. I don't have a dog in this race, but I'd like to see her throw a triple right now. Yep. yep. Set Dean up. Yep. Big time. And oh, maybe. Oh, wow. For those of you who don't know, Sarah Duffy is the daughter, one of the daughters of Hall of Famer Nancy Bessel. Nancy Bessel. Yeah, yeah, she's the first, first mark. Sarah? 
Oh, jeez. She's just on fire, Marilyn, in the spear on top of it. Wow. Up now on Alley 4, we have the returning champ and Marilyn's partner, Mr. Dean Sullivan. And on Alley 3, Mr. Ben Vestal. I think we should just call Dean King of the Palace now. He's Dean of the Palace. That too. So after five, Sullivan and Bajarski at 85 working on a spear. Vestal and Duffy at 46 working on a spear. Dean, nickname now is Mr. KOTP. As he drops eight on the spear that his partner left him for 93 half. Not too shabby. And oh. Ben drops nine as well. Dean's been bowling for 45 plus years. His average is a 115. His high single is a 193. His high trip is a 450. Oh, nice oh, shot by nice Dean. Shot, Dean. Nice. Oh, come oh. on. Our next King of the Palace will be... October 27th. October 27th, and it will be the 80% handicap world title match. Nice. Who's the champ? I don't know. That's how long I forgot myself. I forgot who. I forgot who it was. Too. Is it Dean? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll find that out. Yeah, we'll get it back to you. Dean on alley four. What a ball. Oh, wow. Another eight drop. 111 after six. Ben working on a spare? Nope. Oh. No, he had oh, a nine box. Nine box, yeah. excuse me. The champs are just opening it up. Yeah. Dean's got a little spray and pray action here. Oh, oh. so close. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Ball and the pin both come up. Yeah. Hmm. Weird action. Oh, there's a squirrel on the lane. Squirrel on the loose. <laughs> Watch out for that truck. <laughs> Dean with a nine bar puts him and his partner at 120 through seven. And Ben with a seven box, put him and his partner at 71 through seven. Dean Sullivan's home lanes, our leader lanes, and also out of the Wuhan Bowler Drone. I thought he was bowling at Lakeside, wasn't he? Friday Night Pro League, he's out of Wuhan. We just bowled him. He also bowls on the RFA A League and the Friday Night Pro League and the once a month league in Exeter. Nick Lang says, get well soon, Steve Bronchuk. There's a lot of those on here. As he drops nine. Steve's fighting the good fight. He'll be back soon. I'm sure you will. Yep. Very tough. Oh, oh, nice, nice shot by Dean. Shot, Dean. Ben comes out of Kingston, New Hampshire, and he also bowls out of uh, Academy Lanes and Exeter Lanes. Get some bad wood. Oh, he's Made the 10, though. Nice 10. Champs are opening up a serious can right now, but yeah. still more, two more strings after this, so you can never give up. And never surrender. Dean launches. Ooh. Half Ooh. Worcester. Halfway to Worcester. My favorite shot. It would be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ben hit the pocket nice. He's just not getting anything. Not getting anything to break. Yeah. Oh, oh nice oh, shot by Dean. Pick. Dean. It's nice. pretty when it goes, man. Yes, it is. Nice bid by Ben also. Champs have seven marks out of nine boxes right now. Wow. The other two, bo other two frames were 10 and a nine. It's amazing. Eight box puts Ben and Sarah at 89 through nine. Sullivan and Bajarski at 142, working on his pair. Wow, 
how's that pin still standing? <laughs> Again, he hits the pocket. At least he got the break this time. Yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, Ooh. Wow. wow. Up and over. Champs have eight marks out of ten boxes. They've only left one pin standing. Great opening batch. 98 for, for Ben and Sarah. They'll come back. They'll come back. Oh, it's, yeah, it's only one shot. Yeah. Shake it off, Ben. Shake it off. Dean Spillen, he's 158 plus a ball. Wow, way off wow. to the left in the ocean. Got a break with five, though. Puts him at 163. Wow. So after one, Sullivan and Bajarski, 163. Vestal and Duffy, 98. 65 pin lead for the champs going into the second string. Still a lot of bowling oh, left. Long way to go. Long way to go. All right, so we have up on alley four will be Marilyn, and on alley three will be Sarah. Rudy Little Wolf said he appreciates me and you. Your, our commentary gets some laughs, but Steve has more of like, what, what the hell moments. <laughs> Hurry back, Steve. <laughs> Marilyn Bowls on the Wednesday night open league and also the mixed triple league. As she punches what I call the new palace. Yeah. Sarah got a couple extra pins. She has the four horsemen with the ten pin. Maryland's home alleys are Millis. Great house run by Jerry B. Seymour. Oh, nice, nice shot. shot. All Beautiful right, Sarah. Beautiful pick up from Sarah. That's what they need. They need those marks. Yep. Got a ten box. Max Brandt said Steve Bronchak is a Don Cherry of Kevin Ball. <laughs> well, get well soon, Steve. What are you guys doing, man? He's going to come back. He'd be like going out the red carpet or something for the guy. And Chester 77777 Chester, seven, said, good job on adding Dean to the commentary. He loves Dean's his favorite bowler, and when he's not bowling, he loses interest. <laughs> nice. Nice ball. Well, you're getting a full dose of Dean now. Yep. Tara put six on her spear. Oh, Marilyn was way off on that one. It drifted to the 10 pin. It's kind of funny. Marilyn's favorite shot is the one, uh, 1710. Her least favorite shot, the 1710. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't understand the question. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice out oh, by Sarah. Nice I thought she was going to pick it up. Well, they picked up seven pins in two boxes. It's not bad. Not gonna keep bad going. At all. Not bad at all. Maryland on alley four. Oh, oh. oh just curved past the head pin. You are tuning into the King of the Palace, season number seven. Who would have thunk it, Dennis? Yeah. Season seven. Although, oh, some of the na uh, naysayers didn't think we'd make it to season three. Oh, look at that shot. Nice, oh, pick nice up. shot. Oh, I thought you was going to answer it. Almost threw the show wet her face. Well, a lot of the naysayers didn't even think we'd make it past season one. Mm. Well, I wasn't here for season one, so. Well, <laughs> season one, they said that we weren't going to do it. I think it's great what you guys do here for the King of the Palace. I mean, it's a really good show. You know, you have like a really good turnout every season, so it's really good. You Thank guys you. Do, yeah, you guys do Thank really good. Appreciate that. Yeah. We get, we get a lot of positive comments now. Yeah. We, we, had, we had a couple of rough patches, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't, can't have everyone love you. I mean, it just feels like the old days, you know, like um, Candleton Stars and Strikes and uh, Channel 5 shows and everything. It's just like the old days. Yeah, the only difference is this different kind of commentary. It's more more lax and a little bit more fun. Right, yep. exactly. Ten box from Maryland puts them at 43, four through four. And Sarah with a ten box put them at 45 through four. 63 pin lead for the champs right wow. now, box to box. Now they're going to try to set up their partners to come in. That reminds me, Mike Moran's supposed to be coming back. Probably soon. We'll talk about his book being released and maybe in October. Yeah, and probably. I actually uh, bowl with Mike Morgan on uh, 
on uh, the Wednesday night. Oh, do you? Yep. Where is that, Lido? Uh, Park Place. Park Place. Yeah. Really good bowler. Really good bowler. Great guy. Real yeah. great guy. He oh, said his uh, book is delayed, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I know that well, the entire Canada community is waiting for it. I get messages all the time when it's coming out. I said, talk to Mike. I don't know. I don't, I'm not publishing it. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if I'm in the book. Oh, well, we're in the book. I, I hope so. Be nice. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we are on, like, IMDb. We are. And we are, have our, you know, we're on Wikipedia. Yes, we are. Yeah, he's just waiting for the publisher to get back to him. Oh, good. Yeah. Up now on Alley 4 will be Mr. Ben Vestal. Uh, he bowls on the Tuesday Academy Speed League, once a month league, and the Thursday Extra Speed League. And after five, Sullivan and Bajarski at 51, Vestal and Duffy at 54. Champs are up 62 pins right now, halfway through the match. Now's the time that Ben needs to turn it up. He's all over that head pin. He just needs to get the brakes. Oh, off to the left. Just barely missed it. He's what Steve calls the washout. Steve would be proud at that. Yep. Yes, he would. And Dean leaves a Mongo in the corner with a couple pieces of helpful wood. Oh, oh wow. wow. Give it a tickle. Not even. It was, oh, like, a half, it was like a half a shrimp bowl. Yeah. All about pinning right now. Ben gets his. Puts him at 64. And Dean misses his. Yeah. Puts him at 60. The strength is kind of lax compared to last strength for the champs, but this, yep. is where, this is where the challengers need to step it up and yeah, get back and some of those pins. And the champs, have, they have a decent lead. They just have to maintain it. Yep. And the, the challengers are pinning well. 9, 10, 10, 9, 10. Spare in the first. But they're going to have to step up the game a little bit because you know you can't get it. There it is. There it is. That's what they need to do. They need mines. Ben wrecks a rack. Clean up on aisle four. Oh, oh Dean. So oh, so wow. wow. C1, play one. Wow. <laughs> Nobody can compete against that. <laughs> Dean threw a wow. so what right in his face. Yeah, but you know what, though? Ben's was prettier. Yes. That was yes. just an explosion. Ben was prettier, yes. <laughs> Double. That's good. Oh. All right. Pocket hit leaves a 7-10. Couple pieces of wood rolling around. Dean misses the head pin and leaves the full horseman right side. Huh, my favorite shot. He needs to play the tip of the wood and try to get some spray and action going on right here. Yeah. Got a lot of wood down there. And he stretches his track for. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Are you kidding? Wow. Highway robbery. So much for the house being juiced. <laughs> right? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Again. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Master Subaru. Visit buynorthend.com or see them in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on Candle Pin Bowling, Duck pin bowling, and yes, even 10 pin bowling. <coughs> <laughs> uh, did you hurt yourself I had, on that I, one? I had, I had therapy this over the summer on that one. Come on. Come on. Oh, could Bang. be. Nine pin drop. Ooh. Leaves the king pin. He's got the five pin with a uh, couple He's, pieces of wood. This is where you got to be careful because that, that wood's angled wrong. It's going to shoot away from him if he doesn't play it correctly. Yep. I play it right in the split. Right there. Nice, nice shot. Nice pick shot. up. Ben and Sarah climbing their way back in slowly. Yeah. Yep. That's what they need to do. They need pinning great. And I, I'll say it all the time, pinning wins matches, but you need marks when you're down like this much. Yep. Nine box for Dean. If you're just playing, if you, it's just like if you're just playing par golf and everybody else is shooting bogeys and eagles. Yep. I mean, uh, uh, it's uh, nothing to me. It's uh, <laughs> bogeys, birdies and, birdies birdies and eagles. Birdies and eagles. I don't play golf. I do. <laughs> I have no interest in golf. I know a lot of cannon pin bowls do. This bid drops eight on the spare. Nice. Puts him at 108. So they gained 11 pins back so far. Oh, oh Dean, nine almost. pin drop. Leaves a seven pin with uh, a couple pieces of wood on the deck. Favorable this this might be a tough shot for Ben. He may have to move over just a tad. 
He can slide it. Yeah. Oh. Or cap it and yeah. do that. Yeah, he needed to slide. He had to get it to where he's going for the ball, just didn't drift over enough. Oh, nice shot, Dean. Then with an eight box, put them at 116 for two string total, uh, 214. Slowly coming back. Dean's filling a spare there at 107 plus a ball. And he drops five. five. Puts him at 112 for a two string total of 275. So the champs are up 61 pins going into the last string. So. Ben and Sarah have a lot of work to do right now. Yes, they do. Yep. It's not impossible, but they need marks. Sean Pine writes, hope Steve recovers quickly. It's a great episode. A little awkward. I'll Steve asking questions and then answer them a second later. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, wait, what? <laughs> he likes to see an impromptu match between George and uh, Steve. So uh, maybe George can make that happen. Uh, Steve's no shape to bowl. Maybe it's some, maybe oh, later look on. Look at this, look at this, look at this, backdoor in it. Ooh, leaves the finger of God. Oh, Ooh, little tin. Little light, little light. Little tin, little tin. Oh, just missed it. Sarah bowls out of the Sunday Night Pro League, Tuesday Night Speed League, and the Atlantic Singles Tour. Her least favorite shot is a spread eagle. And when she's not bowling, she's an RN, and her hobbies are bowling. Ooh, right through the heart. How does that happen? Punch the spread eagle. You throw the ball 60 feet Look at down this. the Back alley spin. and hit oh. strike. Yeah, so she got a seven. Seven bar. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Debbie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right through the middle for six. <laughs> Sarah just needs to settle in right here and throw that same first ball again. Hopefully it breaks up a little better. <laughs> the team of Sullivan and Bajarski have five strikes and four of them are <laughs> very <laughs> yes. I'd say she's not disappointing her partner by any means. Nope, not at all. But if we all remember the last time they were here, when they regained the titles, man, they went on a tear. Missed five in a strike. Maryland bowls on the Wednesday night open league and the mixed triples league. Nice ten. When she's not bowling, she's an inventory specialist. Uh, Matches nice the ten. ten. At Staples and Natick, and she also enjoys baking and bowling. Speaking of baking. Uh, yeah, where are those cookies? Yeah, where are those cookies? The champs are up 72 pins box oh, to box right now. Wow. Oh, look at those. There they are. Ooh, right down the middle. Look at this. Thank you to the front of our show, Mary, Mary Ann Murphy. Yeah. Oh, it could oh, be a strike. Rocking. Could be. Come they definitely on. need it. They, oh, they needed that. Oh, she's coming oh. right in the gutter. This is a diff very difficult shot right here. Very good bid on it, though. Mm -hmm. and Ten bars nice to Sarah. Puts I could have made a political joke on that one, but I didn't. I don't do politics, so you're on your own on that one. Yep. Sullivan and Josh get 44. Vestal and Duffy at 33. 72 pin lead for the champs right now. It's almost out of reach. Pretty much. <laughs> Mathematically, they're still in it. Yeah. Realistically, is another, another. She's hitting a head pin. This is this is the frustrating part. You're hitting a head pin and you're getting splits. And there's really not much more you can do because you're hitting your object pin. Yeah. I think somebody forgot to juice the alleys today. Damn owner. Dave. Oh, oh a little, little light ten. on that one. It's all right. They just need to keep pace. That's it. 
Save their energy for uh, next round. Nice help by Marilyn. So at the half, Marilyn and, and Dean are at 52. Vestal and Sarah, uh, Vestal and Duffy are at 39. 74 pin lead for the champs. Going into the last five balls. Dean on alley four. When he's not bowling, well, his favorite shot, excuse me, is a strike, and his least favorite shot are splits. And when he's not bowling, he's a construction foreman. He also enjoys hunting, fishing, and his family. And he says, thanks for watching. And he wants to see more new people. Dean's a big promoter of the show. That really is. Yes, he is. Ooh, Dean actually had another one drop late. This is going to be a tough, tough spare for Dino. Hanasu said Mel's lunch is a Liga Colonial that's been going on since the 1950s. Whose lunch? Mel's lunch is a league. I must have been on that episode. Ben, uh, when Ben's not bowling, he's an electrician. He also enjoys golf, snowboarding, and video games. How you doing on Fortnite, Dave? I don't play Fortnite. I thought you said you did. I am not a, nope, not a Fortnite person. Call of Duty, right? I do enjoy Call of Duty, and I'm looking for the new one to come out. Yep, everybody's looking for that one to come out. Watson 956 said Steve get well. 92 Justy is watching from Maine. Random and absurd said can't believe he can get a strike on that one. Thank you to everyone. Brady Luzinski, get well, Steve. Super Suzuki Maniac. Oh, Dean wrecks a rack. Dean throws a strike on Spear. <laughs> oh, almost a back bang going to answer it? De Deb Regan's watching the matches. She's like, yep, get them all out now. <laughs> hey, I'd be thinking the same thing, Deb. <laughs> oh, wow. Just, so uh, the champs are going to advance. Did just check it down the gutter? It was, went in the gutter. Yeah, drifted in. But didn't hit, take anything out, so... Nine box with them at 57 through seven. Want to give a shout out one more time to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lindbergh Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or stop by in person and see Marty Babin or his excellent sales staff on the new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck At Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, 10 pin bowling. He also does uh, video games in Minecraft. Elevator rides. Yeah, elevator rides. Um, he also does random random stuff around town. Store closings. How has uh, he not got arrested yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's elusive. <laughs> Dean puts seven in the spare. Want to thank everybody out in YouTube oh, wow. land for tuning in and watching season seven of the King of the Palace. Uh, also, everybody on local access and on Facebook. Thank you for tuning in. We cannot do what we do without you. This is season seven, King of the Palace. And Dean Sullivan and Marilyn Borjanowski. Borjarski. Borjarski, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> the returning champs have defeated Sarah Duffy and Ben You know who Vessel. doesn't get enough credit? Marilyn's husband, Daryl. He's a great guy. Daryl Goodwin, the race is in my book, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Great oh, wow. guy, great what supporter, can up in bowling, great team guy. Wanna, I want to thank uh, FATV and all the hard work that the OEPD puts out. Mr. Travis Falk, he is the heart and soul of the machine. Ooh, Dean just missed that one. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Steve Bronchuk. Jesus. Hurry up and get better, my friend. We miss you. I know we talk on a regular basis. You're one of my true friends. And I can't wait to see you back. And you get a lot of people pulling for you, Steve. Yeah, want, we want, we want, to, want to thank um, my partner in crime, Dennis Nuzzo. Can't do it without you, kid. We have a lot of fun. Remember that. I want to raise. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, special guest commentator, Mr. Uh, Casey McCool, the Stooge. I certainly. Oh, Dean missed everything, and he's still getting a break. You just can't compete with that. You throw the ball in the ocean, you get a good break. Yeah. And well, ben, he's got that spin on his ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. backward spin. Backwards ben spin. has the MK, right side. Nice oh, shot nice by Dean. Shot. Finish it off the way you started, right? Why not? Oh, nice oh, shot. Nice. 
Answers. Both of them. Answers right back. Dean and Marilyn had 15 marks out of 30 boxes. Up Amazing. next for Mr. Dean Sullivan in Maryland will be Jay Simino and Deb Reagan. Regan. Wow. Regan. Regan. So after three, Sullivan and Bajarski with a 126 puts him at a 401. Wow. Ben Vestal and Sarah Duffy with an 86 puts him at 300 even. Wow. 101 pin 101. Great bowling. Wow. Yeah, really good bowling. Sullivan and Bajarski had nine spares and six strikes. Vestal and Duffy had four spares and one strike. I'm going to tell you this, though. Marilyn really set the pace. She did. Yeah, she, she opened absolutely. up like a house of fire, and she gave Dean the tools that he needed, and then they just continued to motor through. Out of those six strikes, she had four of them. Yeah. yeah. You can't beat that. Cannot beat that. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations to the returning champs for defeating Duffy and Vestal. Now... Let's meet him in the 11th box with the Nuz. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuz. I'm standing here with this week's winners and still the champs, the team of Sullivan and Bajarski. I, I'm just at a loss for words right now, especially with you. You were just amazing. You showed him up. You, didn't, you said you didn't want to let your partner down, and I don't think you did. Nope. I didn't. No, I did not. You guys had uh, 15 marks out of 30 boxes with six strikes and four of them were yours. How do you, how'd you feel about that? I felt pretty good throwing that ball. If you looked pretty good throwing that ball. You were just all over. Three of those first uh, strikes came in the first five boxes. It was just amazing to watch. Great bowling. Thank Great you. bowling. Dean, what are your thoughts on your partner? Hey, she can throw the ball and let the pins fall all she wants. You going to get that tattooed on you? No. Want me to get it on tattooed on me, or do I have to owe you money for that? You'd have to owe me 1000 oh. for that. Okay. Well, the score was 401 to 300. 101 pin victory. <laughs> One or 100, it doesn't matter. It's still a victory. They, that, had, they, they weren't capitalizing on their breaks. No, no they, the breaks that they were actually getting, I mean, they were all over the head pin and just getting nothing, right. and then the ones they were, they were just missing. Yeah, next match will be a different match. We'll see what happens there. Well, you, get, you work it off while you, everyone who knows any woman bowler knows this next team coming up. Team of Jay Simino and Deb Regan, the number three seeds. I'll see everyone then.